Chris Trot here from Team TaylorMade, about to test the brand new High Toe 3 wedges. This is your wedge Swiss Armified. We're going to give you so many options, so much versatility when it comes to these clubs. Milled grind sole from carbon steel is in there. What does that mean to you? The sole is recreated the same every time. We've talked with the engineers to give you the perfect soles for different shots with multiple bounce options. Extreme versatility to you, the golfer. As you look at the back of the club, you can see here that high toe is printed on a toe weight pad. That means we've pulled some more weight up to the top, move that CG to give you optimum feel and performance. It has the classic look when you put it down of the high toe, pulling the center of gravity higher to give you the lower launch, engineered to give you some more spin that you will require as the golfer to get the versatility out of these wedges that you're gonna need. Touch the face, feel it, raise micro ribs, off speed shots, that's engineered to give you some more spin. It's also a raw face. There's nothing between you and the golf ball. Whenever you get that in a wedge, it gives you that feel and that crisp strike that you want. I've got two lofted options in my hands, a 56 and a 60. Put them down, full face score lines. Versatility, it's everything here. When you get into these higher lofted wedges, that's where you're gonna to wanna to see it because you can pull across the club, you can have fun with these clubs and you're gonna leverage those grooves that are full face towards the toe. So let's get into it. Let's show you some of the Swiss Armified shots that this is gonna give you in these wedges. I'm gonna start on the full one. It's gonna be tricky, it's into breeze, but let's see if we can start just drawing one up there and get some full yardage out of this. Hold it against the wind, and you can straight out the gate see. That's gonna leave us an interesting one, which we'll get to, but it goes through the turf great. That is the mill grind sole ripping through there on full shots. That's what you wanna feel. And again, feel is premium, versatility is premium. Let's check out some more green side shots. Getting into the versatility of these wedges, I've got every bounce option under the sun in my hand here. Let's start, what is bounce? Bounce is the camber on the sole of the golf club. Try to think about it, you've got a bowl of water, you're gonna push a beach ball down into it, it's gonna give you everything back. That is bounce. As you go through and you play a wedge shot, you go into the turf, the bounce is what pushes the golf club back to you. Now we are here in Scotland, I've got a downwind nasty little chip but it's firm, you can feel it under your feet. You can feel it on those practice strokes that I take. I would think, consider here, standard low bounce. That's be where I wanna look at. But for you at your home course, you need to consider what the conditions are like and how you are as a wedgeman. Do you come down into the golf ball quite steep? Are you quite shallow? Because whatever angle you create, that is gonna require a different bounce. You can of course get fitted for bounce as well, which you should check out on the TaylorMade website. The low bounce 60, and just again to demonstrate the versatility here, I'm only gonna hit 60s for this shot. It's down breeze, the sleeves are rolled up. This is where you're gonna go full face score line because I want to try and cut across left, use some of that ridge on the left and just play a high soft one. So it goes down, it bounces down, pretty good result right there. Again, coming through, showing how versatile, feeling how versatile that club would be. Not really a Scotland shot, but it's option number one. Then, again now, leveraging leading edge, that milled grind sole, the 8620 carbon steel that that's been milled from. Same every time. Now I wanna use the front of that. I'm gonna put the ball position back. I'm gonna put the handle forward. I'm gonna get a little bit steeper into this, but the ground might give something back. And I'm gonna draw one just up this hill. I'm just gonna literally hook one over, let it roll down. Versatility is demonstrated right there. The breeze has got it. It's probably running on. Don't catch the slope, but it's leaving me one uphill into wind. Should be able to knock that in with Spider GT and give it a good wrap. But the point is, 
options versatility. I've given you one that's come out the sunroof and landed softly, and then one that's ran up the hill. That is what these wedges are gonna give you. That is what I want you to create as the golfer and you to work with. Don't just go with one standard shot every time. Move ball position, change your orientation in relation to that golf ball, and think about how you can leverage that mill grind sole to give you options. Let's move into the traps. Whenever there's steps to get into a bunker, you know it's gonna be fun and treacherous but I've come armed, I've got all the options. Now for this one, I'm gonna take the 60 with the 10 degrees of bounce. Again, I talked to you about bounce. This is gonna help push the sand out the way. You wouldn't have all these options, but just to show you how versatile the clubs are, this is the number I'm gonna go for. In a shot like this, you just really wanna hit the sand and try and get it up there. You can't feel the wind when you're this low down, which is great. Full face score lines, try and get some height on it and obviously hope for the best. Come out a little strong, but I don't hate it. Probably carried the first bit and you can see how the sand has whipped up and caused a little mark to come out towards the high toe. Now, to show you how versatile this is, I'm not gonna put it on a tee peg, but I'm gonna give myself an okay lie and I'm gonna go for the 52. When you take this, it wouldn't be the option for everyone, but just how versatile these wedges are, it's touch and go that I can clear that lip maybe. But if you can, and you can lay it open and pull across one, you can probably get a little chaser up the hill. That's gonna be pure. 52 degrees. Think about that when you get in versatility on these clubs is what you're going to get as you get in these pot bunkers stop thinking about just carrying this start thinking what you can do when it lands and it runs this is going to take care of it for you i don't know a better example let's hit some upslopes show you where else we can get the most out of our high toe three the uphill lie i think a lot of us get into this and I'm gonna take the 56 this time, because it's the only club I haven't used, but again, you've got options. You can be versatile with this yourself, as well as the wedge. If you lean into one, remember that 56 is gonna go into the hill, then the bounce on the sole is gonna come out of it, but you can lean into it and just chip it on up there. That's a nice result. Then the other options are, when it comes to something like this, take your 52, which is gonna then give you less loft and get your spine going with the slope, okay? And because we've gone less loft on this one, going with the slope, aim a little right, it's gonna come out a bit higher, a bit shallower, bounces on up there, another nice result. You can really feel as you come through this, the quality of the feel of the golf club, the raw face, it gives you it all. And then I think, it wouldn't be right, would it, to go through testing wedges, demonstrating everything we've got. Into breeze like this, I think you have to hit the flop shot, don't you, just to have a bit of fun with it. And that's what I'd press you to do. Give it some elevation. Winds hit us. I'm taking it to the left, but I like it. This is the most versatile wedge on the market. I love them, I play them personally, and I think you can see I have a lot of fun hitting all the different shots. Go and get fit, head to tailormadegolf.com and you can learn more about the High Toe 3.